while everyone it's looking like the iPhone SE 4 is about to be an even more interesting phone than most people are probably even going to realize. So most of us know by now, whenever Apple has pretty much made any iPhone SE, they've been recycling the older bodies basically every single time. But a leak came out, which threw me off so much last week, about the 5.7 to 6.1 inch iPhone SE 4, which really kind of throws a lot of things out of the window about what Apple could be doing for the next generation of iPhone. Now, as I mentioned, Apple has never made a 5.7 inch you know, iPhone before. They've only made 5.8 inches and so on and so forth. So is Apple going to go ahead and remake, you know, another iPhone SE body just for the sake of, you know, this leak? Absolutely not. But I think with this specific leak, it brings something very interesting. If it doesn't come in that iPhone XR body, the only other choice for the most part is it coming in that iPhone X body. So the same exact thing that happened with the iPhone X, with it having the closest design to the 5.8 you know, inch you know, display, Apple could end up recycling that you know, phone, bring that body back, and essentially give us the iPhone SE 4 in that specific body. Now it's going to pretty much have the same internals as like an iPhone 14. So we're going to be having that Apple A15 potentially, and maybe four gigabytes of RAM. So it'd actually be almost the same exact internals for the most part as an iPhone SE 4, but it would just pretty much bring that next generation chip. So it'd be like maybe the same, you know, A15 that's inside the iPhone 14. So there could be some changes, but I do want to ask you the question, would you actually end up purchasing an iPhone 10 body? You know, so it's the same exact body as the iPhone 10, same camera, same display, wide and telephoto lens. Would you end up purchasing a phone like that with the fact that it has the internals that are now upgraded for maybe $599, maybe $529, would you pay $529 for that? Or would you rather just go ahead and buy something like an iPhone 12 at $599? Those are some things that I'm actually kind of asking myself because it's very, very interesting that we're in a situation like this, that the next iPhone SE could end up being cheaper than the iPhone 12, but it could be you know, substantially more expensive than a used iPhone 10 potentially even a used iPhone 13, you know, it could be about the same price as that. And I would argue that a used iPhone 13 is probably going to give you more value than, you know, with this specific iPhone SE 4. Now we could, again, be expecting this iPhone SE 4 coming out probably, I would say around that springtime next year. So very soon, not even like probably like six months from now, probably more so like five months from now, we could end up seeing this specific phone come out and probably being sent to us fairly soon. So it's actually very crazy what's going to happen. In my opinion, though, this iPhone is probably not going to bring face ID. I think it's still going to maintain touch ID, but I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be really cool. But this week, this leak from last week is really kind of throwing me off because it doesn't really make too much sense. But I think if Apple ends up making this type of design change, I think it's going to be way better than what they currently have in my opinion. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up from here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.